decided I'm going to give me engine cover a clean. Um, you can't really tell on that, but it is pretty grubby. So my plan is give it a good scrub, rough it up, and then I'm thinking I don't know whether to do the edges black, this part here in blue to match the car, and then this here in like silver. Or do we go blue around the outside, black, chrome, silver? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on. Yeah, just gonna see how well it comes up. I don't think it's gonna come up very well because a lot of it's I've tried to scrub with acid and the jet wash, and it's not coming up very well. But let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go and see if I can find my gimbal. Right, let's see how I get on with that. Probably not the best camera angle, but it's the best I can do. See, bits like that are just not coming off. Man, I have searched everywhere. Oh, hang on. I have no idea how to take that foam off because I'd like to take that off before I paint it, but can't figure out how to get it off, and I don't want to take it off if I can't get it back on again. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to see what I can do. Uh, yeah. No, just, this is just a random thing I decided to do to make the underside of the bonnet look a bit nicer. Some engines running away from me, cover should I say. Um, yeah, not like a must, I just thought. I did actually paint the one on the Golf, I don't know if it's if I've done that as part of the video or what, I don't know, I can't remember. But that was really grubby and I couldn't clean it. it. Didn't matter what I did, I jet washed it, I used acid on it, and it, it just wasn't coming up clean. <sighs> so yeah, I decided to scrub it the best I can. And then I masked it all up and then primer, let that dry, and then I, I think all I did was just paint it black and then add on an extra sort of bit of I think I just did it black left that in silver and then just done that in silver I can't remember after I have a look but that didn't actually come out too bad and it's still like that now the only difference is I did make a bit of a mistake on it because the paint that I used it, I didn't really read it and it says not to use lacquer on it to finish it but i didn't know that because i didn't read it and um yeah it looked all nice and as soon as i, I lacquered it, it it ended up going from all nice and shiny to looking all dull on that i mean it still looks a lot better than it was it just doesn't look as nice as it did when i finished it so I don't know, at some point I might have to take that off and repaint that as well. Right, let's see what that's gone like. That's a dry.
This doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, this technically wasn't even a job that I needed to do. I just took, just sat there doing nothing. I thought I might as well really do something. I thought it's nice to clean the engine cover up, see if I can make it look a bit nicer. Uh, yeah, I will eventually paint it. So I haven't got the paint yet, so probably doing this for nothing. I'll probably have to do it again before I paint it. But yeah. Um, so apparently the government as of April this year, is it? yeah, 20, 2023, um, the annual MOT test is being changed to every two years, I think it was. But if you don't, if you're a constant like long haul journey type person, where you're doing like forty or thousand mile a year, it'll be every two to three years. Something to do with um, it'll remove like the forty pound a year that um, you happen to pay at the minute for an MOT. Um, a lot of people, to be honest, myself as well, can't see the sense in it. And I do agree with what a lot of people are saying. Yes, they're trying to save you £40 a year on your MOT. But there's going to be like other things to balance that out. So you're not technically losing any money. So you're not technically saving any money anyway. And then on the other hand... The other thing I agree with, if your car is not getting checked every 12 months, there's cars now that are failing just off 12 months of MOT. So what's going to kind of happen if, you know, you're getting checked every two years? At the minute people are, you know, failing on tyres and, you know, mainly suspension and things like that. The DVLA Highway Code says that you're supposed to check your tyres and everything before you drive off. Now, who out there actually does that? But I don't think anyone does. But the fact is, no one does. So if you're getting away with ch changing your tyres because you haven't got a MOT coming up for another 12 months, because, I don't know, say for instance, you've had your MOT and then you, you check and you say, all oh, right, the first year's up, but my MOT is not due for another 12 months now because you get two years. If you don't check your tyres, you know, that car's technically not just a danger to yourself, but to other old users. And it's not even just things like that, there's sometimes like really bad things, I know tyres can be bad as well because, you know, if a tyre fails, a tyre fails, but sometimes things on the MLT come up with something serious that the person doesn't know about, and if there's something serious that that person doesn't know about on that MLT, and, it, and you know, you don't know about it because your MLT is not getting checked every yeah it's now down to every two years how are you to go right this car is not safe to drive so yeah that's a big one and a lot of people are sort of frowning right? like why are they changing it to every two years i know there is some people out there that are sort of like me yeah, whatever but there's also like the garages they're not happy with it because they're going to be losing a lot of money every year due to not doing MOTs as much as they used to. Um, it's a strange one, ain't it? <sighs> um, I don't know, me personally, as much as it is a pain when you've oh, got me MOTs coming up, I need to get make sure this is done, that's done. At least you know the car's safe. And you know the car's safe more often as well, rather than 
every two years go all right time's up better get this checked or you dump it on yourself oh i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave it and then you, your two years are up and then you all of a sudden right mlt up i better check the car and then because there's been a two year gap you're thinking oh crap there's double the stuff that was having to be done in some cases there'll be nothing here just be like a tire or something but the people are driving maybe older cars or whatever and that's not to say driving an older car is bad because me personally i prefer an older car than a newer car a lot of people look at newer cars like oh it's nice there, blah 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 but sometimes you can get a newer car and that's got more electrical faults than an older car that sounds really odd but i've seen like a brand new car maybe like three years old being towed down the road because something's happened to it i know some people will say oh yeah but that's maybe the person's not really checked it over or whatever but yeah i i'm a massive believer that newer cars yes they're nice to look at but i prefer an older car Plus, uh, I don't know, I also find that a lot of newer cars now look the same. But yeah, that's come on quite nice. Yes, they've still got these, that, 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 and that, that I can't get off. But yeah, it's come on quite nice. Um, We're not doing so well with the channel or the cars the fleet whatever you want to call it a fleet because there's so much going on rosie's dps came on on the golf and we were sort of trying to figure how to get that done so we put the money away for that she's recently had the shockers and the suspension um wishbones and a few other things on the front of the car changing because the back ones are okay but now she's got this other thing of right the extra money now needs spending on the dps getting cleaned which have there's like a phone that you can buy um i don't even know how it works it's like this phone that you spray inside the dps and once you do you put the lot in clean it out and then yeah it's supposed to when you once you've done it you let the engine heat up and then you just rev the car for it all to come back out again and it's supposed to come out all nice and clean but i've said to it if it doesn't work there's a company i've found that i'll do a dpf clean for a hundred and no sorry it wasn't i think it was 90 pounds and then an engine carbon flush for 40 pounds but they'll do the carbon flush for half price if you're getting both done so i said well, maybe book it in and get that done at least you know the engine's a lot more cleaner um so that's got to be done because our MOT, the golf's mot is due in about 30 days ish um also still haven't sorted out the central lock and Volkswagen's saying that basically they think that the little chip module in the key is probably gone and it probably needs replacing. Um, I fixed the drive, sorry, the passenger side door because it had dropped and it went sort of, it was annoying to open and close. It was like quite tight, catching all the time. But I've, I've aligned that and that's now opening a lot better than it was. Um what else can i tell you where am i there i am oh wrong way so basically i've got a gimbal now rosie bought me a gimbal for christmas and um still trying to figure out how to use it also figured out this i think this whole video is going to be upside down so i might have to rotate it but anyway um what was i saying can't 
can't even remember what I was saying. All right, yeah, the golf. So there's still a few more jobs to be done on the golf. Um, slowly trying to sort that out. Now the CC, I'm starting to sort of worry about that a little bit because we already knew that the coolant pump B was on its way out. Oh, it's got a fault on it of some sort. Maybe there's a build up a date, I don't know. But I'm going to change that. I'm going to put a genuine one on it, which is about £120. But then I can fit it myself on the driveway. Um. Oh, yeah. Now that it's developed a bit of a rattle. Not a massive rattle, but you can hear it when the car's idling. Sort of. You'd have people saying to me, oh, it's just because it's a diesel. But I know the sound of my own engine. I know when it's changed. So I'm thinking that it's due to have the belt changed. So there's another bill on the top. Plus the hundred and whatever pound for me. Cool and pump B. And then there's something else. Something else. And it's there, it's gone. I'm sure I'll remember before the end of the video. Hopefully. Um I know that the um active dampers still need sorting on the CC as well, but that's gonna have to be sort of put to one side until I can afford it. But Basically, all in all, between the Golf and the CC, still haven't finished the bike either. There's quite a lump of jobs to be done. And jobs on cars come with finances as well. So we've got to sort of save up, get it done, save up, get it done, until the cars are back to decent working order as well. I just had to change a spare wheel on the CC. And I paid £40 for the part one. Where that came from, I don't know. But then I got the car home and realised that the two front wheels need doing as well. So now I've got to do that. And there's another car coming on the fleet in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that one. But I'm going to end the video here. It's been another crap one. And I'm very sorry. We'll get up and running properly soon, hopefully. Maybe some road trips. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. If anyone wants one of these fleeces, they are new. Let me know. Or maybe a hat or a sticker for your window. Let me know. I'll, I'll get it ordered and sent out to you. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our facebook instagram twitter tiktok we're on all of them and um yeah like comment and subscribe on our youtube channel all right we'll see you in the next one have a nice day bye